how do you create a brand for your C store? Hey, John McMillan here once again, C store secrets. And I shared a video actually this morning about what is your brand? And for most of the C stores out there, you know, especially independents, they don't have really a brand identity. If you go into the C stores, um, you know, I could actually argue that a lot of C stores have a negative brand image. Uh, some people would call that a stereotype or a reputation, but at the end of the day, what you do and how you plan and, and the, how you strategize and how you approach every aspect of your C store, that's how you create your brand. So if you're doing none of those things, then in essence, you are allowing other people to create your brand for you. And your lack of focus, of strategy, of process, of customer service, of, of direction, of future goals, of, of all that, that, your lack of is a strategy essentially. It's a, it's a lazy strategy, it's a do nothing strategy. And, and I don't say that to make you mad. I don't say that to call you out. I'm not gonna call out any C stores because I could, I could list hundreds of C stores that have zero, zero brand strategy. And therefore people just like me, customers that come into your store are essentially deciding your brand. So how do you create a brand for your C store in this you know, loud, jam-packed industry in, throughout the country. So I do wanna give props and kudos to one C store in particular that um, is, they stand out in my mind. I've recently visited them and they're doing everything they can to create a brand. They have, they have generated focus, direction, and they're not even in the greatest location as far as they're not sitting in a big urban area where they've got 10,000 cars driving by every single day. But it's, uh, it's his name's Buckshot, being in market in Baghdad, Kentucky. He has developed a brand. Now he has somewhat of a brand because that C store has been there for a very long time. It's, it's family owned and that building has been there for a very long time. But if you look at just what he's doing every single day, he has, he has embraced this smoking culture as far as smoking food, has great ribs, has great, I love brisket. He has a great brisket. Uh, he's doing a lot of different things throughout the, the food industry, but he is known for his food. He has a great C story, just remodeled. So he's, he's growing with the business. And this is a guy that has created a brand associated with excellent food, being in market. And I'm sure, especially in the community and the surrounding towns, people travel to see him. So he has created a brand. Um, <clears throat> I know a couple other C stores that have done that in the past. Um, people like uh, Bill Hamilton up in uh, Somerset, the Billy Burger. People know him for his hamburger. And he also does, he has Tap on Main. That's another brand that he created. Um, and people know his C store by those things. That's what they know him by. It's not just a Valero sitting on the hill. It is the Billy Burger. It's Bill Hamilton. He is, he has a brand. Okay. Those are just two stores that come to mind within the Kentucky market. Um, and, and, and even chains, chains do that. Speedway is somewhere I like to visit. Um, they have a brand. Uh, they have a they have like a jingle that goes with their um, with their with their brand name. The convenience stores of Speedway, right? So people know this stuff. That's their brand. And what are they good at? They're good at coffee. They're good at food. They have a great rewards program. They're good at all these things. So you see, from a large scale to a small scale, on independence to chains the focus for the people who have the most success is a, is a brand. So how do you create your brand? Well, the first step is you have to decide what it is you're willing to go all in on. That's the first thing. What are you willing to go all in on? Whatever that may be, 
you need to make sure that that one thing you're willing to go all in on has a long-term effect. And what I mean by that is, is it can't be changed by legislation. Food typically is not gonna be changed much by legislation. Now, your health departments and, and your food code and the EPA and, and all these different things can make different requirements and demands on it. But you look at what's going on in California right now with flavored e-cigs and vape and stuff like that. They are trying to ban every bit of it. So if you think your brand and what you're going all in on is vaping e-cigs, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't make your brand around because it does not have an infinite amount of future involved in it. It is going to be legislated out the door at some point as the industry changes. It is the current fad. We went from cigarettes being a fad to tobacco being a fad to roll your own being a fad. Then e-cigs came along. Now we're on vape you can see it's a trend and there's a timeline for it. And after you get past that, that timeline, it, it either dies or it, it levels out, okay? So when I say go all in, in in choosing what it is you wanna go all in on, I am talking about you wanna have the best coffee bar in town. You wanna have the best hamburger in town. You wanna have the best brisket in town. You wanna have the best pizza. And I'm not talking about um, shacking up with one of these uh, um, the one of these current pizza companies who pretty much are pushing their brand. I'm talking about your brand, and and don't get me wrong, I have nothing with no problems with branded programs. I sell them. They ha they have a great point and purpose. And for for those of you who are struggling with a brand, a program many times, especially if you partner with the right people, can skyrocket you creating your brand because you can piggyback off of their brand. So I'm not saying those are a bad thing. Those can be a good thing too. But my point is, is if you want to create a brand for yourself, you have to decide what it is you're gonna go all in on, make sure it has, has longevity to it, make sure it has life to it, a, lo a long life. And then you just need to start. It's two steps. Then you just need to start. You need to start getting in touch with the right people, making sure you find the right products. Um, Polling your customers, asking them what they like within what you decide you're going to go all in, on, all, on, all in with. And, and for the most part, if you don't know what you want to choose to go all in on, ask your customers what they want. Ask them. With my brands that I sell with uh, Cooper's and Champ's Chicken and Blue Taco and, and those items, we have that focus. If you look at Champs and Cooper's Express, we are focused on chicken tenders, and why? Because it's the majority of the market. If you look at the chicken market, and I just read an article from Convenience Store News or something the other day saying that boneless chicken is the number one product right now as far as growth and everything like that. People are buying boneless chicken. So tenders and, and bites and those things. So. It doesn't matter what brand you choose, but you've got to choose a path and you've got to go with it and you've got to make sure, like I said, that it can be legislated out the door, okay? Food, um, you know, you look at, you look at, you look at Chick, you look at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A has chicken. They do chicken and fries, right? They have some other good things too, but their brand is associated with, you talk to anybody about Chick-fil-A, they always talk about their customer service. That's their brand and that they're closed on Sunday. They're known for those things. They will take care of you, but you can't go there on Sunday, and that's okay. Because when Sunday comes along and I can't go to Chick-fil-A, you know what, I'm like, Monday, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. So just, if you wanna create a brand, I'll be glad to help, reach out to me. But you have to pick a path, you have to go all in. And when I mean go all in, you've gotta spend money. You've gotta focus on it. You've gotta, you've gotta advertise on it. You've gotta get on social media and tell people about it. You've gotta, You've got to go all in, and that's how you create a brand. And if you want to do that, if you want to secure your future of your C-Store, of your business, so that you can competition-proof yourself, pick a, pick a brand, pick a focus, pick a goal, and go all in. Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you got some ideas from it. And like I said, if you ever want help, please reach out. I'd love to help you. Have a great day.